No, I'm not in a game. It's day 23 of Blockmas. Blup, 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 Blockmas. Blup, 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 Blockmas. Hey, careful K's. It's day 23 of Blockmas. Blup, 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 Blockmas. Blup, 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 Blockmas. So, first thing, I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the way. I know you guys are probably like, what was he doing yesterday going to the post office? Bow. No, I'm not in a gang. Well, I guess I am. Gang, gang, gang. Shout out to Prince of P and Rayshon, the PR gang. So that's what I was doing on yesterday. I went and got my uh, my hoodie and my gang, gang. Cup. <laughs> Ooh. So you guys, today, we are going to be eating Brussels sprouts, mashed cauliflower, and veggie balls. Um, I did actually record me making this stuff. However, it ended up being 16 minutes. So I did it all one front, one shot. So I'm still not exactly sure if I'm going to split it up or if I'm just going to speed the whole thing up. But either way, still, it's too long. So I think I'll just speed it up, leave it one shot, speed it up. And you guys can, if you have any questions, you can just ask me about it. So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good. Um, Blogmas is moving full steam ahead, you guys. It is. It is moving full steam ahead. This recipe for the Brussels sprouts, I actually learned from a buddy of mine a few years back because on the top of the Brussels sprout, well, now on the bottom, on the plate, I didn't do a thumbnail. So on, damn, I'm just like, go eat this, go ahead and eat this one. So, mm, damn, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. So on the Brussels sprouts, mm, it's a glaze that I made that a buddy of mine taught me how to make a few years ago. It's a really simple step. It's really just two steps. Now, even if I am going to speed the video up, you probably won't understand what I'm saying. So I can explain it. And that's what we'll just do in this video. Mm, mm, mm. I put um, barbecue sauce on the top of these um, veggie balls. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Okay, so the first thing I did, because I ended up briefly looking back at the playback. First thing I did was start to prepare the veggie balls. They come in a pack. They're made by Light, L-I-G-H-T, Light. And pretty much you just open them up. <clears throat> and what I did was open them up, put them in a skillet, and I poured three tablespoons of avocado oil in the skillet. I also seasoned them with onion powder, garlic powder, regular pep black pepper, lemon pepper, paprika, and cayenne pepper. Yeah, that was all the seasons that I used. And I actually used all those seasonings and everything. So then I put them on the stove and they started to cook. I would say in like 20 minutes, they were done. So next thing I did was the mashed cauliflower. Now, typically with me, things that I cook, I either get in raw form. So I would have got like a head of cauliflower or I'll get something that's frozen. I don't really do, um, I don't really do cans, you guys, other than things like baked beans. Outside of that, I don't really do cans for anything. So with these mashed cauliflowers, I did not get the raw cauliflower 
cauliflower head. I just got the bag of mashed cauliflower. They came in like little circles. Because if you know how the cauliflower is, once you cut it, yeah. But anyway, it came in a little bag. And so I added some garlic spread, some earth balanced vegan butter, um, a little onion powder, garlic powder, a little salt. I don't think I put lemon pepper. I could have, if you go back and you see it, even though it's going fast, I might have. We'll just safely say I used all the seasons on everything, just in case I did and I don't remember. Um, and then these cooked for about, mm, well, the, cauliflower, the mashed cauliflower cooked for about maybe 10 minutes, 15 maybe. And then they were done. It was up down also. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I forgot to give y'all a bite, but it's so good. I don't want to share. Mm -mm. I know this is probably a weird food combination. You guys are like, hell no, but I promise you guys, the things that I, I come on, it's not often that I try new stuff. Since I've been doing Vlogmas, I think the only thing new that I've tried was the Parmesan eggplant. That's about it. Everything else is good, and I continue to make it or buy it. Just saying, fun fact. But I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, so here's a piece of the Brussels sprout, and then I'll tell you how I make it. Got it? Okay. Chew that up first before I give you some more. Mm -hmm. All gone. Okay, here's a pre half a piece of uh, veggie ball with barbecue sauce on it. Got it. Okay. Now here's some of the mashed cauliflower. See, I was nice, you guys. Got it? Okay. I was nice. After all, my bad for that noise. Um, so, with the Brussels sprouts, they come in a bag. What I personally do, I cut the bottom half off of them and the top half, and then I put them in a skillet with um, coconut oil. But <clears throat> when you first get coconut oil, Similar to when I, that video that I did when I was talking about the cornbread, when I ate the greens and brown rice and cornbread, it comes in a container and it's white and thick. Once heat hits it, of course, oh, I'm spitting this shit. Once heat hits it, it um, turns to liquid. Mm -hmm. So, mm, mm, mm. so I cook those, same seasonings, maybe. 15, 20 minutes. And then when it was over, now you can do this while they're cooking. If you cook them on each side, if you cut it enough to where you can put it in a skillet like this and then flip it and put it on the other side. But if not, it really doesn't matter. Once it's over, you'll put the glaze on top. Or you can put the glaze on once you plate it. It really doesn't matter. I mean, that's a personal preference. Um, but one thing I do do, and I also did it with veggie balls, once everything is done, I take paper towels, just regular paper towels. I put the food inside of the paper towel. So I did that with the Brussels sprouts and the uh, veggie balls. And I take some of the excess oil slash grease off. Yeah. <coughs> Cassie. I never get old, you guys. I'm not gonna hold you guys too long because I know today is the 22nd and you guys are probably running around getting last minute things together for, for I was about to say for work. For Christmas and all this stuff. So I'm not gonna hold you guys too long. Or you guys are probably already traveling to wherever you're gonna go to for Christmas. And I honestly do wish you guys safe travels. And I'm going to tell you that over the next couple of days because it's going to be a lot of people out on the interstate and things that I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, people that are distracted and just doing everything but driving, it's going to be a lot of those people on the road. So I want all you guys to go wherever you're going safely. Come back in one piece so you can see my face again.
Hopefully this video isn't too long. I mean, I did just kind of explain everything, so I am going to speed it up because I just told you everything that I did now. There's no point in doing a voiceover. Damn, I probably should have did that. Maybe I'll just send you guys a song. <laughs> You hear the noise in the background, it's probably the refrigerator. I just heard like a little faint or something kick on. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but if you hear something, that's what it is, the refrigerator. I guess I can call this meal, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Food, that's what we're gonna call it. Mm. That was good, you guys. It really, really was. Well, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed sitting down, chit-chatting with me, and as we ate. Hopefully, you guys had you something to eat also, because I only shared a piece, and I almost didn't do that. <laughs> so, hope you guys had you something to eat, and you enjoyed this eating with key, careful key, careful K's. I don't know why I just start talking like that. Slow and then repeat. Careful key. Careful. I don't know, but peace. Hey, you guys. So I know I said that I wasn't going to do this part, saying the fact that I had already explained everything in the beginning. So I'm just going to keep you guys company. Up until I need to say something that um that I did not say early on in and that's unfortunately at the end of this and this thing is like two minutes so this is just preparing putting everything together it's no sound the only sound is my voice so yeah so how you guys doing that's the cauliflower right there it comes in a bag it was actually the same price as a head of cauliflower so i was like why would i go through all that issue and trouble with cutting a head of cauliflower when it's already cut for me and i don't have to do anything except put a little butter in here put a little seasoning on it and bam so that's what we did we did that mm -hmm. you see that shit as soon as i opened up those bag of brussels sprouts them two them few little bitches wanted to jump out and just fall onto the freaking countertop but that's okay i just throw them away no biggie now the one thing that i did not talk about while um while i was actually doing my video was the sauce because i started talking about my buddy who showed me how to do it and then i got sidetracked as always started talking about something else but as you guys can see it wasn't a long video so i'm really proud of myself i got on with the eating and i still had you know some chit chat time but um in order to make the the glaze you need I personally buy organic maple syrup and you need balsamic vinegar, not balsamic vinaigrette, balsamic vinegar. So in this, you have to kind of do it to your taste. And it also depends on how many Brussels sprouts you have. I cooked eight. So I did five tablespoons of the vinegar and three tablespoons of the maple syrup. And it came out good, y'all. See you next video.